Very good evening to all of you. So, uh, we'll fix it here. And hi everyone. So, very good evening to all of you. And uh, let's go for part two. Age of Chaucer. Till now, we have talked about a lot of things. Now, we're going to talk about part two. Age of Chaucer. As you must be knowing for the rest of the day, I take offline classes, then UPSC classes, English literature, the, the kid classes going on. So sometimes uh, I'm not able to come live, but I am trying my best to be live. If this camera can be focused, yes, uh, just uh, switch it here and make it tight. This will work. Actually, most of my staff members are not available, just one guy is helping me. Money, now you can see. So guys, till now we have talked about three different kings in the age of Chaucer. I really wanted to ask some questions from you, but it's an online class. So still, let's believe that you're going to answer me. What are the names of those three different kings? Answer me in 10 seconds. Type it, come on. The names of three different kings. I'm writing here so that you can simply find it. I will read these comments later, so answer it. Edward III, Richard II, Henry IV. We have also talked about their timings. 1327 to 77, approximately 50 years. Then 1377 to 1399, 1399 to 1415. These are the time durations of these kings. So we have talked about these things, we have talked about the concept of religion, we have talked about the corruption of church, we have talked about that why this age is called the first modern age. Now we are going to talk about the writer, Geoffrey Chaucer. So let's start with this writer, this is part 2. Those who want part 1, subscribe the channel, go in the video history, my 5-6 days back lectures, you will find live classes of Anglo section using digital board latest technology. You will find Age of Chaucer part 1. So this will help you. And as I told you, you don't need to read anything else. If you just listen to my lectures on Anglo section, live class. If you listen to my lectures on Age of Chaucer and Dark Ages and Future Lectures, you don't need any book from any book. Now let's start. So the very first thing that I want to tell you, remember this thing. We've talked about Geoffrey Chaucer. Is the first writer in English, first person to write in English and technically also has multiple references like sometimes we call him father of English language father of frame narratives You will ask sir what is frame narrative. Many of you will just simply ask what is frame narrative. Frame narrative is story within a story. Just like Hamlet. Story within a story. Story within a story. That's called frame narrative. Please write it. Story within a story. Along with these things, Chaucer also gave us rhyme royal. He has given us rhyme royal. He is the first writer to write a travelogue literature. Travelogue literature. In short, what I mean to say, Chaucer being the first person, he is the father of almost everything. Father of short stories, father of storytelling, father of frame narrative, travelogue literature, father of rhymings. So, in short, those two we are going to read a real big writer. So, let's start. Take screenshots. Now, we talk about Geoffrey Chaucer and the first thing that comes and troubles you in exam is the birth date of Geoffrey Chaucer. Many of you ask me what is the right answer. Sometimes in UGC net, they go for 1340 to 1400. If you go for latest research following Oxford standards, it's 1343. If we go for a round figure, because you know these are ancient writers, very old age writers. 
so at that time there was no system of 10th mark sheet to have confirmation about the birds you know right in present scenario it's 10th mark sheet they say that what is your birth rate on your 10th mark sheet imagine we were to i was told that if you score good in 10th you will become successful now i get to know that 10th mark sheet is only important for birth rate so what happens if you get option of 1343 to 1400 go for it if you don't find this option go for this okay now his parents we have to talk about his parents also you must be thinking why parents net guys they ask questions they ask these kind of questions so son of john chaucer mother agnes chaucer father was a rich merchant father was rich merchant he comes from rich family now here i want you to write very important point geoffrey chaucer was married to philip parroy Philip Parrot. Now you must be asking, sir, why the wife's name is very important. Philip Parrot, name of Chaucer's wife, because Philip Parrot was actually sister of John of Gaunt's third wife. John of Gaunt, a royal king, Gaunt's third wife. sister so john of gaunt's third wife sister philippa royt so why philippa royt is very important because this is how chaucer makes a royal connection now 99% students don't know and nobody will tell you generally nobody tells you this thing that geoffrey chaucer participated in 100 years war 100 years war mein geoffrey chaucer ne participate kiya tha come on guys be honest 10 seconds tell me the timing of 100 years for 10 seconds you are my students you have amazing memory i am going to the front side of camera so that i can read your comments go 10 seconds timing of 100 years for you answer me i will get latest technology to make it much better let's go for it shikha thakur bahut badhiya answer bahut badhiya shabash 1337 to 1453 100 years war fought between england and france if you have watched my first lecture in this 100 years war england defeated france in three important battles if you remember the three names with dates nobody can stop your jrf so no i'm not going to ask you right now but yes had it been my offline batch in delhi like we are taking regular classes i would have you know scolded if you didn't remember that so they do remember you should remember three different wars battle of crissy battle of poitiers battle of agincourt see friends the more you read the more you remember the more you will have chances to be a jrf or maybe a double jrf like me so we know the battle of crissy 1346 the battle of poitiers 1356 the battle of agincourt 1413 take screenshot all the new students who are watching it for the first time take screenshots all the online students already have these things they have been given pdf notes for all these things make sure you don't miss any of these things be prepared with everything so make sure you remember these points don't forget it yeah now we get back to this thing so 100 years war chaucer participated and was taken as prisoner prisoner of war chaucer ko par pakad liya unhone jail mein dal diya chaucer was ransomed for 16 pounds so chaucer was ransom what is ransom ransom is firoti you catch someone and then you take money to leave that person chaucer participated in war he was taken prisoner of war and then the king paid 16 pound so imagine 16 pound 
was paid to get him released, get him bailed, get him free. Now, Chaucer, after coming from war, he started working on various languages to find a language of English people. There were multiple English dialects at that time. Mercians, East Midland, Kentish, Northern Brium. What are these things? These are the dialects in England. The dialects in England. Chaucer started working as a poet, as a writer, as a responsible person to develop a language, native language. At that time I told you because of 100 years war, they were having a strong influence of French people. Chaucer and the other thinkers, they wanted to have a language of their own. I ask you a simple question. In our childhood, we would go to watch TV, watch television in our neighbor's house because we didn't have good TV or maybe we didn't have TV. The moment we started earning, the moment we got money, did we purchase our own TV? Yes, because watching someone else's TV doesn't give you pleasure, watching your own TV. So when these people started defeating France, they realized that why to speak in French? We are fighting French and we are speaking French. So they said, let's go for new development of language. And they started working on a new language of their own. And here, Chaucer selected East Midland. Chaucer ne kya kya? East Midland ko select kya. And he converted East Midland with some flexible grammatical changes, with some new add-ons, new words. And East Midland got converted in English language. So, jo aaj ki English language hai, wo kahan se start hoti hai? East Midland. It was an Ingla dialect. It was an Ingla dialect. So East Midland, East Midland became English. Chaucer experimented with this thing. We already have talked about this thing in previous lecture. It will become language of code, language of parliament, language of schools. Now, we go for Chaucer's career. All the new students, simply subscribe to the channel. You will find multiple lectures like this. Now, Chaucer's career. Career as writer. Divided in three different phases. Write like this. As a notes one out. Chaucer's career as a writer. Divided in three different phases. Very good. All the online students who are already preparing and have prepared all the offline students who have already prepared they are writing in comments. I just saw some comments. Guys, you know it. That's good. You are already prepared with these things. That's good. You are beyond others' preparation, that's good. But don't ever go for overconfidence. Three days back, I missed my train from Jodhpur railway station because I had tickets, confirmed tickets. I was overconfident and I didn't check the number of train. I thought it's my train. I entered someone else. So never ever be overconfident. Overconfidence will drown you. Do both right So what do you do? Those who are prepared, simply ask if you remember these things or not. The, and let the new students try. Chaucer's career divided first thing. French phase of his writing. French phase. Here we have maximum books written in French language. Then, Italian. Chaucer went to Italy. And there he came in contact with Italian literature. So that is Italian phase. Third phase is English. Where Chaucer became a writer, started writing in English. English phase. Now see. Before 1372, if they ask that uh, what is the timing of French uh, phase, before 1372, 1372 se pehle, so I should do it like this, before 1372, everything was in French, 1372 to 1384, everything was in Italian, and after 1384, he wrote in English, see Chaucer's books got published, printed. But remember my friends, as I told you that there was no printing press, printing machine, cleaning, there was no printing machine. So before 1476, K 
keeping the track about the proper writing date, proper publication, proper printing. It is impossible. So we go for a round figure that before 1372, everything is in French. 1372 to 1384, all the books are written in Italian. 1384 ke baad, after 1384, all the books are written in English. So that's how you have to differentiate. All my students who are watching it, my question is, in which year printing press came to England? Konse saal mein printing press England mein ki? Ye padhaya hai mene. I have taught these things. And all the online students, don't make a mistake. 1476 printing press came to England. Printing press came to England. Who brought it? William Kexton. I'll write in a proper way. William Kexton. He brought printing press in England. All the new students, subscribe it. I am also going to teach you literary theory in my way. Literary theory in my style. I'll make things easy for you. So you have written that. One toughest question I already have taught in my previous lecture. The books printed after 1476. The printing machine came. From 1476 to 1500. Around 25 years. The books published in this particular time, question of net exam. I am asking all my online students. I am reading. What do we call the books published in first 25 years? Nirmal Pandey, proud of you. Bohat bade ya Nirmal Pandey. Take screen video recording. I am taking your name. Nirmal Pandey, I am very happy. Jyotirmay Mohan, one of my old students, always proud of you. Kavita Yadav, bohat bade ya. Bohat hi bade ya. One student has written Gutenberg's Bible. I must tell you this thing that Gutenberg's Bible was not printed in England. It was printed out of England. Stimpi Kashyap, Vaishnav Baizu, bohat badiya. Kya baad hai? Ashifa Ahmed, bohat badiya. Proud of you. Ankita Rai. Chalo, I'm going to the front side of the screen. So if anyone writes after that, remember, if you have answered in Kunabula, I am proud of you. Very good. So this is the term. Bohat badiya. In Kunabula. In Kunabula means the books published in the first 25 years. Salute to everyone who remembers it. Bohat badiya. Question of net exam. 90% students are going to compete. You don't know about these things. Now see what happens. We go for Chaucer's phase of career. You may ask that sir, why Chaucer wrote in uh, French. First, uh, you know, uh, first verse. Why in French? Why? Because at that time there were two different languages. Old Germanic language. Old Germanic language. Dialect. You remember there is a famous portrait of fallen Germania. Fallen Germania. Goddess. German e goddess. Fallen Germania. A famous portrait. Hai. Fallen Germania. Fallen Germania. Old Germanic dialect which was actually basic Latin. So that was the first language. Then we have talked about that after Latin, after Latin, what did came to uh, what did come to England? French. That was the Normans language. Normandy's dialect. Normandy's dialect. Old French. That's like old French. Not pure form of French. Old Latin. Old French. So when Chaucer started writing, Normans war was French was in fashion. So Chaucer experimented his writing in his first language, French. French became very popular at that time. Now, <clears throat> Chaucer experimented and we went for Old English. Remember this thing. Always remember the order. They have asked multiple questions in net exam. What do they say? Set them in right order. So Latin pehle hai, England mein, England gire mein. Then French number two. Third number of English. Always set them in order. Remember this thing. They ask you this question. They will also ask you to set the right pair. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's a specific question. So don't forget. Old Latin, Old French, English. I have also narrated through my references. So that's the reason. His first phase. And that's why Chaucer has not written in Latin. Otherwise Chaucer must have written in Latin first. He wrote in French. Then he went to meet Italians. Because he became a courtier. That is also something very important that one of the first 
Italian works written in English are also by Chaucer. So let's get back to his first works. I'm sure you will get some notes and some points. Just share these lectures with needy students. ये उन बच्चों के साथ शेयर करना जो पढ़ना चाहते हैं बट उनको गाइडेंस नहीं मिलता है एंड मोर ओवर द वे आई एम टीचिंग इट टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द वे यू मस्ट प्रिपेयर ठीक है नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द फर्स्ट फेज फ्रेंच फेज चौसर्स करियर फ्रेंच फेज चौसर्स करियर हियर वी हैव सम काउंटेड बुक्स द फर्स्ट वन वी हैव इज बुक ऑफ द डचेस आई राइट इन अ डिफरेंट कलर इसको आपको ऐसे मिलेगा बुक ऑफ द डचिस बट इन प्रॉपर टाइटल प्रॉपर पब्लिकेशन इट विल बी बोक बी ओके इफ यू गो फॉर द ओल्ड स्टाइल लैंग्वेज इट विल बी बोक आई एम गोइंग फॉर मॉडर्न स्टाइल सो दैट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू प्रिपेयर दैट्स व्हाट वी कोचिंग वाला पीपल डू वी मेक थिंग्स इजी फॉर यू सो दैट यू रिमेंबर थिंग्स यू हिट द टारगेट ओके नाउ बुक ऑफ द डचिस डील्स विद द स्टोरी ऑफ डचिस ग्लैंड question of net exam in fact this was a question of very funny question i was laughing in exam jo hansi aane lagi i started smiling but it yaar kya question hai imagine see our friends i must tell you this thing english net syllabus is something vast uncontrolled and imagine they can ask anything from anywhere yes there is no fixation only 80% syllabus is fixed for 24% syllabus they play game they can ask anything I am eight times net qualified. I am double JR, but I could never top. It's not possible for me to top because they always come with some questions. Even in every exam, ten, fifteen questions I have never heard. Imagine what about students? I have taught in University of Delhi for three years. So, and I've been studying seven, eight years literature, 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 but still I find some ten, fifteen questions which are out of the world. So. What they do actually? They just bring questions where we don't even think about it. For example, is it a very important work? No. Is it really canonical in English literature? No. It is written in French. What did they ask? They asked the question that Duchess Blanche belonged to Lancaster. So question was that where did Duchess uh, Blanche belong? Like Duchess Blanche का जो घर था, माइका था. So that was the question. Imagine this thing. They, this is how trouble you. Now what we do, we coaching guys, we coaching institution people, we make these kind of things easy for you. We bring questions from old papers. We go for all the set PSD net papers. We find out these random things and we make it easy for you. So always remember, Duchess Blanche was from Lancaster. She is the heroine. Now, in this book, she is you know she is the real character, real character. Here. But the book is based on this lady, the story of this lady. She has been referred. She has been represented in this story as the good fair white. The good fair white. The good fair white. A racist reference. So they can ask you a question that in the book, the book of the Duchess. Who is the good fair white? It is Duchess Blanche. She is the good fair white. So what happens? Here in the story we have a knight. Knight is there. Chaucer is watching a dream. Chaucer is watching a dream. It is a dream allegory. So dream allegory was the style of Anglo Saxons and Chaucer. Very important point. Note it. Dream allegory style. Allegory is a hidden message. You want to say something, you don't say directly. You take a story as a reference to convey. You know. If you want to convey something directly, that's a direct conversation. If you want to convey something in a different way, take a story, take a reference. So allegory and movie we'll watching in dream. What is dream allegory? The writer will see a dream. In the dream, he will watch the story. So the dream is here, allegory is here. So here Chaucer is seeing a dream. In the dream, you know he was reading a book, Caesar Elsion, and then he slept. Remember this point. I added here. Chaucer has been shown that he was reading a book of Caesar. And Elsion. याद कर लेना दोस्तों मेरे लेक्चर की वैल्यू तभी है जब इसमें से अप्रॉक्स 50 प्लस पॉइंट्स फैक्स याद करो. Six and Elsion book Chaucer was reading. While reading this book, he slept. And when he slept, he saw a dream. Dream देखा उसने. In the dream, he finds a knight. Knight is crying. यहाँ पे एक रेफरेंस और है. In the dream, 
he overhears that dogs are barking. So he finds out that some hunting is going on. He goes and finds out that why the dogs are barking, why the dogs are barking. He finds a light. Abhi Raja hai. Raja kya kara? Raja is crying. Raja is uh, rowing. Sorry, rowing will cry. Okay. So Raja jo hai wo ro raha hai. So he questions that kya hua? Why are you crying? What happened? Why are you crying? He said, I have lost my good fair wife. My good fair wife. Who is good fair wife? I have lost my good fair wife, my companion, my beloved, beloved, my wife. She is no more. She is not with me. Chaucer says, but how? How did you lose her? Kaise kove? He says, I played chess with destiny. The game of chess reference, game of chess with destiny. He says, I played game of chess with destiny. Playing with destiny, playing with fortune, I lost it. So here we have some references of Trojan War also, but my friends, no need to go for the story, no need to read unnecessary things. This would be enough. See, in literature, directly and indirectly, you are going to read 2000 plus things, 2000 plus topics. You cannot read each and everything. Here, you have to become jack of all trades. So now, you must have heard jack of all trades and master of nothing. So yes, we are not doing any PhD. You don't have to be master. Be jack of all trades means out of a hundred, at least 60 percent, you know everything. So you're not zero in Chaucer, you're not zero in Greek literature, you don't have to be zero. If you want to go for my style of my double JRF, make sure that be average good in everything. Don't leave even a single topic. I'm not asking you to be brilliant in every topic. Be average good in every topic. Now, we go for the next book, which is a very minor work, not very important. The next book we have is Romant de la Rose. Romant de la Rose. Romant de la Rose. English title Romance of the Rose. Make notes, guys. Notes banate jana. Romance of the Rose. See, this was a translation of original words are written by Guillem de Lois. Guillem. D. Lawrence and Jean D. Mew. These two writers have already written this work in old French. He recreated in modern French. So they may ask you a question that Roman de la Rose is actually based on, is actually a translation of Guillaume de Lawrence book and Jean D. Mew. Two writers. These two are writers. They are writers. Hai. Their book was recreated in French. That's what you have to remember. No need to go for it. It's a collection of love stories. It's my 100 plus love stories ka collection hai. One old man is talking about his love, his uh, love stories. So technically collection of love stories, no need to read it. Okay, go for next one. Same kind of work has been written by Gower. John Gower also has written the same work. Collection of love stories. Now, we go for next work. Minor. A, B, C, a long prayer. A, B, C. It's a prayer, a long prayer. No need to read it. A, B, and C is actually the stanza style. It's a stanza form. A, B, C is not a title. The poem doesn't have a title. That's why it is called A, B, C. Three different long stanza style. So no, need to, no need to read anything. No question in net. No question in set. Kuch nahi aata isme. This is enough for the French phase. Now, my next lecture will deal with Italian phase. Subscribe to the channel, share it with needy students, be ready for Italian phase because after Italian phase we will be going for English phase and that can take around two different classes. But yes, one thing is sure, you will not have to read anything. If you have read this here, Kuch bhi padhne ki jarurat nahi hai. Moreover, we know COVID has troubled all of us. So all those who want help, just for the sake of help, and I'll be very honest, I am not going to provide you 100% content. Okay, so sometimes you will say that we promise. No. But yes, 
we will help you so use the contact numbers simply whatsapp you will get pdfs of all these things because you know if i provide 100% things for free of cost i will do injustice with online and offline those who have paid they will ask you sir why did i pay simple si baat hai na if i am paying for cinema hall and others are free i will question why i am paying so that's what i'm saying but yes my friends i will help you and rest is your hard work watch youtube videos so make sure if you want to whatsapp on uh, to get the pdfs simply whatsapp on 8810289637 i personally handle this whatsapp i will be sending you these pdfs and online students who already have these things you have plenty of time to revise one more effort ek mehnat karni hai bahut zordar mehnat give you 100% remember robert browning i was ever a fighter so one fight more the best in the last right now we have some information that the next net exam will be either in the end of july or in the 15th of august it's an information i will share the source also i will also tell you from where we have got this information but end of july or the 15th of august we will have the exam so we have plenty of time give you 200% be a jrf i wish you that you all get a jrf and plenty of knowledge thank you so much jai hind jai bharat